Alright, what's up, man? It's your girl Rose Marie Bryant, Reppin' Rose Coach. I'm here with CXSP. We finna get in this. It's Chiefer Skates. Welcome back to CXSP, where we keep it locked and we get it first every time. We got a very special guest today. Very special guest. We have Rosemary Bryant. Yeah. Round of applause for her. Thank you for coming. Of course. Thank you. You know, so she's a local artist popping out the area. You know what I'm saying? She got shit all over the surface. Y'all got to check it out. It ain't nothing usual. You know what I'm saying? It's the same <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? But, um, uh, we're going to get into it, we're going to ask her some questions, get some answers, and maybe find out about some new projects. <laughs> Rose, right? Rosemary Bryan. What do you? What do they usually call you in the industry? Rosemary. Okay. Rosemary. Rosemary. Some people call me Rose Culture because my first project, and it's like, alright, Rose Culture, I just answer to it too. Okay. So, yeah. That's what's up. What made you want to do music? Honestly... I don't think anything like made me want to do music. It was just more so of a thing in everyday life. Mm -hmm. So it was like people who don't do music is kind of like off to me. Right. You know, like if you're not involved in music somehow or love music, you're off to me. So I just kind of got into it because my dad was doing it. <laughs> cool. So when, at what age did you start doing music? Like professionally? Yeah, or just in general. When in you, general? Yeah, when you first thought like I want to create a song or just start doing it. Oh, music. shit. I was... I was a young girl. Like, I used to listen to Celine Dion and Whitney Houston oh, a lot. So what I would do is I would just rewrite, like, the lyrics for their songs because I couldn't remember it. Or, like, you know, anytime it comes on, it's if someone put it on for you. Right. So any, I would just make up words for the songs, and then that's how I started, like, writing music. Yeah, that whole vibe for music. Yeah. That, that's, that's dope. Yeah. What's your first song that you ever dropped? My first song I ever dropped? Mm -hmm. It would have to be um, Back Down. Okay. That song, Back Down, on the Rose Culture mixtape. Oh, that's that's the first time I ever dropped. Still, how old were you when you dropped? That was last year. <laughs> last year? Oh, shit, that's dope. That's dope. I'm sure the viewers want to know, you know, because I found you through the page, mm -hmm. um, and I, I checked out your music. I thought your music was dope. Thank you. Know? you. That shit was dope. And y'all got to go check it out. Definitely on the cloud. Got to check it I'm, out. I'm going to leave the link in the description oh. so y'all can peep. This shit is going up. Y'all don't know. <laughs> Gee, shit. It, it really is. But, you know, I found you there, and, you know, I wanted to figure out more about you are, you know, because it looks like you've been doing this for a while, and you have talent, and I really like your sound. Um, I gotta ask you, based off of the type of music you make, because it's hard to just assume, so, yeah. um, what would be the one person that you would feature on your song if it could be anybody? Oh, Eminem. Eminem? Yeah, I That's would work with lit. Eminem. <laughs> yeah, I will fuck with Eminem. <laughs> That's Definitely, right. Eminem's like my favorite rapper okay. on some real, like, he's like my favorite rapper out of my top rappers, he's probably like my number one favorite rapper, because he's honestly the person that like, when I was a young age and like, nowadays everybody wanna talk, but they got yeah. so, you know, I was a kid, so I was just rapping that shit with him, and then <laughs> you always see Eminem on TV, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. I used to always like, rock with Eminem or like people around me just always playing Eminem because he was like the cool guy when I was like what in middle school yeah so around them like seeing him rap and shit and then Missy Elliott yeah definitely Missy Elliott like Missy I knew dope. every any song mm -hmm. every lyric when to it comes Missy. to Missy yeah that's so you were a diehard fan. I was a diehard fan yeah. of Missy Elliott shout out to Missy Elliott shout out to Missy Elliott yeah. real shit that's yeah <laughs> I love Missy so are you doing any new projects that you can maybe let people know here with CXS <laughs> <laughs> um I'm, I'm working on something right now I don't have like a date or you know of when I'm a release it or anything like that yeah I don't even have a title for it but I'm working on you know you're always working on something so I'm trying to think if, if I should put it into a project and then release it or just release shit like singles or yeah. visuals or however but I don't have like a strict mindset on exactly you know a project it's like right. an idea right. right now specifically but so it's just like a mixture almost of yeah some new things you want to compile exactly yeah. in my opinion honestly I believe your career is gonna go yeah. it's going to go that's yeah. not even a question yeah so because of that um where do you see your career in the next year from now as far as the music oh I see overseas I see like I definitely see me on like big ass tabloids you know like in big shit I definitely see that because from my girl from last year to now 
was like, you know, it was pretty quick. Um, I hope I hope it keeps moving quick because if, if it keeps moving quick or it keeps moving at the same momentum that I've been pushing it to move, then next year, this time, I should be popping shit. You know what I'm saying? That's real. Yeah. Who's one of like the most popular artists in the industry that you would find the most inspiring as far as your music is concerned, your talent? I would say like, I damn, that's a hard question. Yeah, it's deep. Because it's deep. there's a lot of people that I like listen to or really fuck with, but I'd probably say J. Cole. I like, I like what, I, cause the reason why I fuck with J. Cole so much, cause he got a platinum, you know, like what's a platinum album yeah. and it was all him, yeah. you know, it was just him. Like he didn't need features, you know, he, he doesn't, with J. Cole, I feel like he doesn't have to um, do too much for people to fuck with him. Yeah. You know, he don't got to do all that song. I'll say J. Cole. A natural, yeah. spirited talent. Yeah. Just, he don't really need other outlets yeah. to expand. Yeah, he didn't yeah. need that. So I, gotta give I respect that. To that. Too. Yeah. So, how do you feel about today's urban culture and music? I mean, like the way that it kind of shaped now, it kind of seems like there's more, and I'm not throwing any shade, but there's more like kind of lollipop, dancey kind of music and not so much lyrics? I feel like it depends on where you're at when, li when listening to it because there's, I understand that whole thought because everyone keeps saying like, oh, you got these rappers that mumble rap and da da da. I was like, okay, yeah, that's cool, but right. you got these motherfuckers over here that actually rap, you know, stop paying attention to that. Stop right. breathing into it. You starve that shit out and listen to this, you know, because you got just as many people as you have whatever rap, name you're going to name them, but whatever mumble rappers or lollipop shit you got going on of course that's gonna be promoted on the radio yeah, of course. but that's because y'all give it so much attention you know you start solving that shit out and start focusing over here on the on the like the not the, i'm gonna say underground but like the underground artists yeah. you know that is way more dope than these people over here but people don't show them that much attention because they, they their scale ain't as big yeah, yeah, you know not, so yeah they're not ready yet they're not yeah. on that level you know? yeah um, but they still making big ass moves. People just don't pay attention to it. Love to ask all the artists this mm -hmm. um, because it, it shows you know you speaking to the viewers as well, and this is shit that some of these people could really learn from. But you know, do you have any advice for anybody who's looking to get into this industry? I would say on some real shit. If you're looking to get into this industry, don't listen to nothing negative. Constructive criticism is different from negativity you know yeah. like i would say i would say if someone tells you you can't make that your motivation to do it because that, that's basically what i abide by like you got and you're gonna you're going to have days where you feel like you ain't doing what you're supposed to be doing or where, you're gonna have days feeling like you ain't where you're supposed to be but those are the days that keep your ass humble when you get there yeah. you know so it's like also don't take advice from anyone that you wouldn't mind trading places with. That's I would say that. Like, That's right. Only listen to people that th right. that they're doing something that you wouldn't mind trading your life with. Like I'm not saying trade your life, but don't take advice from anyone that you wouldn't mind trading places with. That's deep. Yeah. I never really kind of looked at it like that too. That yeah. makes a lot of sense because if you're gonna take advice from somebody, it gotta be from someone dope. My right. My friend said that to me the other night, and that like that really resonated with me. I was just like, damn, that's. Not that I'm not saying that I'd be taking advice from any old body, but yeah. that's that's a good way to look at it. Yeah, when you hear it, you just naturally, you know, take heat. Yeah. If you didn't choose music, um, where would you think you'd be at? Psychology. Psychology. That's dope. Psychology, definitely. Because it's still within the mental. Music's within the mental. Mm -hmm. It's Understand all related. people, yeah. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, so definitely psychology. That's dope. Well, I want to thank you coming through CXSP. We got Rosemary in the building, y'all. Do y'all know what the fuck that means? Hey. These niggas don't know, yo. What do, do, they don't know. I'm, yo, Q, do they know what this means? Yo, come no, on. No, no, they don't know that. Niggas, don't know, yo, niggas don't know. don't know, man. Yo, <laughs> straight up. Keep it locked here. CXSP, where we always get it first. Bunch of local new artists coming out of the area. Popping. Y'all don't even be peeping. And that's what we here to do. We here to let y'all niggas peep. Sam. Mose, and, would you like to close? And scene. <laughs> and scene. Bet. <laughs> so we're going to get out of here because I know you're busy. I know you got a lot of shit you got to do, probably. Yeah.
if you're not, then you know we could always just cool it and whatever, figure some shit out. Yeah. But either way, we gotta get going. <laughs> we gonna see y'all later and keep it locked here at CXSP. We out. <laughs>